today's the day. I'm moving my entire life across the country to a whole new city. And I'm so excited! <laughs> Why have I got so much stuff though? Who does that? It's time to get the packing started. I've had an absolute mare today. You know when things just feel like they keep going wrong? And you're just like, why? Like, why? It's just been one thing after another at the moment. The icing on the cake for me today was finishing up, filming my last clip for a sponsored job, having the rest of the video edited, importing that last clip and then losing the entire vlog and having to re-edit that for this whole day when I've literally got two days left to pack. I just finished that edit probably about half an hour ago and it's now 20 to seven. So that's, I'm starting packing at 20 to seven instead of at like midday, which I was hoping was gonna be the case. But here we are. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm super excited to be packing and getting the bug out of this place, which I will speak more to you guys about. I know a lot of you guys have questions and a lot of you guys are asking why I'm moving again. I have been here for a while though. I've got so much to do over the next few days. I'm gonna do my best to take you guys along with me. And yeah, I'm super excited to share this new chapter with you guys. I'm so excited to go on this new chapter for myself. It's been a long time coming and like this has to be my time now. But I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna start packing because I've got, got a lot to do, a lot to do. I also had a ton of clothes collected the other day. I think it was like, I think it was about 15 bin, like big bin bags of clothes. And I still have other clothes that I need to get collected but I just don't know if I'm gonna have time to get that done before moving so yeah hopefully it won't be as stressful packing as it has been over the last few years when I've had to move but I think the best thing for me to do is just to stop talking because I'm literally just procrastinating as I always do and start packing honestly I think the part I hate most is actually building the boxes and paying for them I'm sorry but why is a pack of 10 boxes 40 pounds I mean I'm sure I could have been more smart about this but I just didn't have the time to be honest until like a few days ago I didn't even know if I was gonna have somewhere to live so that's been a whole scramble in itself what's your least favorite thing about packing and what's your most favorite thing because this is this is killing my vibe right now <laughs> As I move and I've settled in a bit, I'm gonna start putting stuff on Depop. I'll leave my Depop link down below. Let me know if you'd want like a Depop haul so I can show you guys the things styled, I guess, of what I'm gonna sell, anything like that. Cause I've got, I've still got way too much stuff. This is ridiculous. Guess who just went on a wine run to Sainsbury's? Me. Found this. Got my all time fave. This is gonna help me through tonight. <laughs> and I also ordered pho again, but this is honestly the easiest solution right now. I got the tofu rice bowl. I've had this a few times before and it's super nice. It doesn't feel unhealthy, which is nice. Hopefully it'll give us a bit of energy to carry on. One of my favorite sounds. My other favorite sound. We'll start off small. Mm. Oh my god.
Right, so before I start packing away all the clothes in my bedroom, I'm just trying to figure out and plan an outfit for the next three days. Tomorrow doesn't really count. I don't really have to do anything tomorrow. So I guess just something loungy. I need something for my mum's birthday dinner. And then I need something to travel in and move in on Thursday. And then I'm thinking, I've got a list on my phone of like all the stuff I need to do before. I was thinking last night, like I need to pack some essentials as well because I don't want to be in the flat and like not have pyjamas, not have a duvet. You know them kind of things there. So I need to set those things aside to put in a suitcase so I don't forget. I think I know what I'm going to wear on Thursday, but I'm just going to try on some bits so that I have an outfit for my mum's birthday before I pack all this stuff away. And then we're going to chuck all my clothes in bags. This is so bizarre. I feel like this is the longest I've stayed in a flat. I don't know. It just feels really weird because this flat, it was my house, but it never felt like home. Like I never really felt at home here or comfortable here due to certain circumstances. And obviously having a load of like kind of traumatic shit happen whilst living here, I just never really associated this as like a comfortable safe space and that's why i never really i mean i got a few bits obviously i got a new bed and like a new tv stand and stuff but i never really made the effort to like really decorate and make it my own place i think subconsciously i knew that once my circumstances changed i wasn't going to be here casual birthday appropriate how cool is this top i got it from weekday i don't know if you guys can see this texture i got a matching skirt with it as well but it's so cool i've never seen anything like this before and my necklace is from my girl Helena's shop, mango pickle lover, obsessed with this, obsessed. So I just need to figure out the jacket and the shoes. I'm probably gonna just wear my big chunky boots and maybe like a leather jacket with a blazer over the top. Let's try it on, fuck it. I don't know what to wear this leather jacket or a bigger one though, because it's pretty cold at the moment. Probably throw a blazer over the top. I've been loving doing this lately, like that. And then you've got the jacket kind of peeking through. I think it looks so cool. And then with some like chunky boots or something. Mm. Oh, I don't know with the baggy jeans though. Maybe I'll just wear a leather jacket and like a thermal top underneath. But yeah, casual fit for Mumsy's birthday. Sorted. So that's good. I can start packing the clothes away in here now. <sighs> So I've had a few questions on how to pack and honestly I am no expert but I did order these huge laundry bags off of Amazon. I usually use like hoover bags but I don't know if it's just me, I don't know if I've just bought like really shitty ones but I feel like they're a bit of a gimmick. I feel like they always like inflate back up, basically they always break and they're kind of annoying to carry around because they're super heavy, they don't have a handle. So I feel like these are just easier. And yeah, you can get quite a few for quite a good price. I think I've got a pack of eight for like 12 pounds. And yeah, you just shove your clothes in. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, you know what I mean, babes? Just got mum's birthday balloon, hopefully, and a card. Yay! Hopefully that doesn't deflate before tomorrow evening. I wanted to show you guys the card that I made for her. It's so funny. Basically, every time we have like a video call, I always screenshot her doing stupid shit. <laughs> She's gonna be so mad. And then on the back, I've got a picture of her that I took when I did her makeup for her wedding. Happy birthday, Mumsy. Love you so much. You are the most amazing person I've ever known in my life. Right, back to packing. I'm tired. To be honest, I don't think it's even that bad this time because I've got so much less stuff to pack, but it always just feels like a nightmare, doesn't it? Another thing to know about packing. <sighs> always be prepared. <gasps> oh, mate, that is a, wow.
a story for a job during yesterday. So I'm taking a minute now, it is 15.26. I'm taking a minute now to just pop on like a little bit of makeup. I've been doing quite often um, no foundation makeup and I really love it. So much quicker and easier as well. If you guys would like to see that, let me know. But yeah, I've got a film, a story which I completely forgot about because my head is just, as I said, a jungle. I'm really hoping that we can go for dinner tonight. I want to go to Bone Daddy's because they don't have Bone Daddy's in Manchester. I haven't been in ages and I don't know when the next time I'll be able to go will be. We're going to do a clean girl look and then I'm going to get this story filmed and then I will continue the packing. I'm almost done I think, which is amazing. We've just got to undo the bed. I think we'll do that tomorrow. Oh and by the way, I'm sure I'm going to get some questions. Everyone's been asking if I'm moving in with my boyfriend. I'm not moving in with my boyfriend. I don't want to Honestly, I've always lived with someone, pretty much, apart from one flat, but there was always someone there. And it's just never ended well. <laughs> it's never been a good experience. I just need the time to be by myself. Like, I want to live on my own. I just love my alone time, and I want to have my own space completely to myself where I'm not responsible for anyone, and just enjoy it, you know? So yeah, I'm not moving in with my boyfriend, for those of you that are probably wondering. I will be living by myself. I mean, I'm sure he'll be over quite a lot, but I have the freedom to be completely alone, which is... I think it's going to be amazing, like I can't, I actually cannot wait and I'm super excited to be doing it in a brand new place, a brand new city so it's like, it's going to feel like a complete fresh start which is, yeah, I just feel like my chest is getting less tight, my shoulders are feeling less heavy, I'm really looking forward to it. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling because the light's going to go and I need to get this story filmed. <laughs> doing? <laughs> when you don't realise how much shit you have until you have to pack it up and move to another city. This is ridiculous. But wait. We're not done. <laughs> I cannot believe that we're basically done now. The move has come in about an hour so sorry that i haven't been vlogging by the way yesterday was just manic we had so much to do still and we had my mum's birthday dinner last night i vlogged a tiny bit on my phone It was just really nice to like have a break, be out of the house and just be in the moment and celebrate my mama's 60th. My aunt and uncle and my cousin were there as well. So it was really lovely. And of course my mum's husband. And then yeah, it's just been a rush this morning. So apologies, but the vlogs continue today. I'm gonna get a thumbnail. I'm doing this properly. <laughs> Bed's all dismantled, another box here, all the drawers are ready to go, bubble wrap to my desk. Packing boxes completely destroys your hands. I literally did my cuticles and stuff. I basically gave myself a mini manicure last night before going to my mum's birthday because my hands are looking disgusting. And already this morning, they're back to being dry AF boy. Dry AF, I don't know what that was. I mean, I'm just gonna keep topping them up, but wow. I can't wait for this move to be over now. I'm exhausted, tired, I just wanna be there. I haven't even told you guys like what the deal, like the situation is, but basically because I had COVID and everything got pushed back, I didn't actually have time to go and view many flats. So I went to see two and picked this one kind of late as as well so basically what had happened was the flat i'm moving into is furnished so i've taken a six month lease because i had to find somewhere to live i couldn't just i had I, where else what else was i going to do so i'm putting my stuff all in storage and then i guess depending on how much i like it i might stay but if not i'm gonna start looking for somewhere else but i don't want to i don't want to move again but you guys need to hold me accountable you see all of this shit behind me i've got to not have this much stuff the next time i move but yeah basically that is the dealio I haven't even got my train ticket actually for manchester so I can't wait to show you guys the new flat though. There's a gym in the building. Do you know how luxury that feels? Anyway, we've got to carry on because the, the guy's here in like 30 minutes. And I'm still uploading a vlog, so. I'm thinking 
thinking you guys might be able to tell by the echo now but the flat is basically empty it feels so weird i remember coming to view this place and falling in love and i guess it just never became the actual love story that i thought it would be but i do feel some kind of sentiments like i am feeling quite sentimental and sad to be leaving but yeah i thought i'd do a little empty flat tour because i've had so many questions it's time to start a whole new chapter and i'm excited i'm nervous i'm not gonna lie i'm scared but i'm i'm ready and i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for being on this journey with me and sticking with me through everything just know that you guys are greatly appreciated right let me show you guys the flat this is the flat as you come in how stunning is that <laughs> You get a view straight into the kitchen, but you've got this massive hallway. And then to the right, you've got like the washing machine and the boiler and stuff and the fuse box um, and a bit of storage up there, which is amazing. The one thing I loved about this flat is that there was so much storage. It came with this really gorgeous coat rack as well. A huge storage cupboard. This cupboard's really big. Straight through into the kitchen, which is beautiful. Um, and it's all open plan. It's huge. It's like super long. Got floor to ceiling windows. And then this beautiful, they call it a winter garden, but it's just a huge balcony. Like it's massive. You can see straight out there. On this side, it just looks out into the courtyard, which is really nice. Um, and it's super quiet. These flats are amazing. The windows are insane. When you close them, you wouldn't be able to hear anything. And then, so this was the spare room. So there's like this little corridor bit, which is really cool. And then there's a whole big room, a huge uh, cupboard, much bigger than the one in my bedroom. Gutted, I never got to use this. And then just floor to ceiling windows on this side and then a shorter one here. And you've got the view of Westfield right there, <laughs> which is amazing. It was literally just like a, I don't know, five minute walk, if that three minute walk to Westfield, which is super handy. Um, and then this one has an ensuite, and it looks like this. Very cool. Hello. And then if you come back round, back into the hallway, and then this way. Babe, can I come in there really quick? So this bathroom is huge. This is one of the biggest bathrooms I've seen in a flat, especially in London. And I still think it's bigger than my bigger bathroom in the new flat. But yeah, it's huge. It's got these beautiful mirrored cupboards with loads of storage space. Really nice shower, big bath, nice floor. And then right next to the bathroom. So that's the bathroom, was my bedroom, which again is a super nice size. Obsessed with the floor to ceiling windows. You always get really nice light in here and it's always really even. Um, and then it has the view out onto the courtyard. So this side was really quiet, which is lovely. And it came with some cupboards, as you can see, much smaller than the ones in the spare room. But yeah, that's the flat, you guys. Um, oh, and by the bathroom, look how much storage. Have you ever seen this much storage in a flat? A new build in London. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the little flat tour. Sorry if it was a bit rushed, but I've got to go give my keys back. I've got to get the train to Manchester, pick up my new keys, sort out my storage before the removals guys get to that place so that they can actually unload before it closes. I didn't realize that it wasn't a 24 hour storage unit. The one I have here is 24 hour. So yeah, bit of a rush now, bit of a time crunch. And I think we just want to get it done as soon as possible so we can relax. I'm feeling pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm really excited to just get there and then like not have to do anything. I'm bringing my projector in my backpack. Movie night, couple of beers, takeaway, bed. Oh, I'm having a lion tomorrow. I say that, but like my brain doesn't let me sleep past like seven o'clock. But maybe it's just because I've had so much on my mind. Maybe now I'll feel like I can actually just switch off completely. I have a whole flat to myself. I'm gonna be living on my own. I'm so excited. 